Hello. So, do another Adventures in Zooland here. I know most of these have been at the San Diego Wild Animal Park and the San Diego Zoo, although now that would be called Safari Park and probably still the San Diego Zoo. But there's been some other cool places I've gone to. When I was a very young man in college, my friend and I went up to Canada. It was the first time I had been to Canada. And we didn't go far, we just went to Vancouver, British Columbia, which was right on the border of Washington. And there was this cool place called Stanley Park. And they had like this little tiny zoo slash aquarium thingy. And, you know, it was kind of small kind, but it was, it was cool. Like, there was um, a lot of different things. There was like a little corner tank that had like five or six little tiny black tip reef sharks. And they were pretty cool to see. And then there were like some piranha and everything. But the thing that stuck out I don't know if the glass magnified things or if the water magnified things or if they weren't real and they were, but like there was this place where it was supposed to be like the Amazon River or something and that's like where the piranhas were and stuff, but there was a tank for anaconda and like I've seen a few before like they had some at Serpent Safari in Chicago, and they had some at the San Diego Zoo, the reptile house and stuff. But these were like the biggest snakes I'd ever seen in my life. Like, I don't know, it's like, almost like they had like fake snakes in there, or like, somehow things were magnified. Cause like, you just looked in there and like, their body was all spread out. Like, you know, normally like at the reptile house at the San Diego Zoo, they'd just be coiled up and cruising because I guess, you know, everything at the zoo gets fed well. And so most of the time they were in that recovery mode where they were just letting stuff digest. So they didn't have much action for the most part. A lot of the snakes and stuff at the zoo were really, really just still. <coughs> Remember that one time when I made a video and then had a big sneeze? Yeah, that was great stuff, right? Alright, so yeah, it was crazy. Like, it looked like a sea serpent. There were two of them in there. And like I said, they must have been magnified, or maybe they just weren't real. And how am I supposed to know? Because it's not like you could see their head. They were like. Just like they were just cruised, all stretched out and filling up the tank. The tank was big, so there was a lot of space and there were like all these cool roots and logs. And It looked like a fun place to be a snake, actually. It was one of the best enclosures at the place. The other ones were more small and not as fun looking for the animals. But they were really long. Like I couldn't see like the beginning or the end and then the body was so thick like it was crazy like I don't know it looked like yeah it's like as big as me like not my shoulders but like my waist which is crazy cuz um at Serpent Safari they had like this big Burmese Python that was supposed to be the biggest snake in captivity and it was over 28 feet long and it weighed like 420 pounds and at its thickest part it was 28 inches in circumference so the fact that these snakes looked bigger than that is insane and that one was like supposed to be the biggest one in captivity so maybe they were just fake but at the time i thought they were real so it really really impressed me i was like this is insanity <laughs> 